talk to her? stairs to close and uh not to expect thanks they shouldn't have been open in the first place she is not wrong Mr. Gateway got buried. I have it. What's wrong? Without you, I got reckless, overconfident, made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. You were right. No. On our journey together, you have grown into a warrior, worthy of your namesake. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same. All right? I need 
to know you'll be okay without me. Atreus. I am sorry. Don't be sorry, father. Be better. <laughs> Let's go home. Nothing is written. That can't be unwritten. Remember? We shouldn't let prophecy define our choices. Then we will make our own destiny. Do you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mamir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. Boss man wants the rest of those deemed worms, buddy. Oh, hi. You're looking for the boss man, yeah. So sorry. He's off cleaning up all the damage Garm did. Yeah. Try back soon, yeah? <laughs> back. How did it go? The beast should trouble us no further. Well, that's a bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah, sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? 
No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. We will join her when we can. Father, I'm gonna study my notes on the mask. See if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone. I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sindri? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. Yet I reached for a shield instead of a sword. You were right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well said, Tia. I believe you just might. Let me upgrade our axe for you. Can't stand to see it looking like that. You are well. <laughs> Take more than a port full of bone John stiffs to keep me down. What am I gonna do? Walk around with a bandage on my head begging for attention? I was mauled by a bear. Nudged more like it. Brother, before we check on Freya, is there any unfinished business in other realms you wanted to take care of? I'm sure the lad would love to help. Keep her sharp and she'll keep you alive. And the kid? What's it gonna be?
Care to join me, Kratos? Have a seat, think about your breathing, try and find stillness in your mind? No. I'm just gonna keep working on this till you're ready to head out. Hey, wait! We're with you. threat. Indeed. You have proven worthy of great responsibility, Master Kratos. Please forgive me if I've been abrupt or at all impertinent of late. The loss of Madame Neathog weighed heavily upon me, even before the grave uncertainties of this Garm episode. I do sincerely apologize for my rude demeanor during this time. I did not notice. You are being polite, of course. My demeanor was impudent, borderline cruel. Surely this was a source of some discomfort for you. No. My conversational wounds run deep then, and you would hide the scars. I swear, Master Kratos, I will make it up to you someday. Well, I'll leave you to it. Yes, we'll be moving along to other things now, you hulking dingbat. do you know of the mask? Only that it was the great passion of Odin's life. He journeyed across Agia's burning ocean into the heart of the silent matron herself to find it. Lost every man in his crew, but to hear him tell it, it was worth all that blood and more. If it isn't my two favorite customers, and Mimir. Sindri! Now that I've spent time in Asgard, Strange to imagine Magni and Modi there. Sif raised them both, right? She seems like a good mom. Maybe a little overprotective. A good mother? Not the Sif I knew. In a culture as debaucherous as the Aesir, being a paragon of womanhood meant being a fierce fighter and a fiercer drinker. She and Thor seldom knew a moment's sobriety, whether brutally dealing with their enemies or, just as brutally, raising those boys. What do you mean? Oh, little brother, I know you didn't have an easy childhood, but you can't fathom how much worse it can get. Imagine learning discipline by having it thrashed into you time and again. That was Thor's approach, the same one Odin used on him. A poisonous notion of manhood passed down through generations. A grim inheritance, leaving all of them the poorer. Well, Sif doesn't drink anymore. Neither of them do. I am quietly flabbergasted to hear it. I get the sense it's more recent for him, but I know he loves his daughter. I expect that's the explanation. Sif goes straight and hopes that raising a good daughter will redeem their past failures. Thor struggles. Maybe she gives him an ultimatum after some 
breaking point or other. Like what he did to Modi. That night he found us. Oh, that's a deft guess, lad. And if that ultimatum worked, well, good for them. Truly. like a rune slate. Best get your chisel out. Okay, let's say the word. Making! Look, the gate out there's lower. mask. How do you hear about it in the first place? He said a voice spoke to him one night, entreated him to collect the mask and control his own fate. I still think it's all a bunch of bollocks. Odin got drunk, convinced himself a wooden mask would solve all his problems, and pranced about the realms until he found a sufficiently mysterious bauble to fit the bill. Mask probably doesn't do anything at all. Yeah, probably. So, Father's new spear, it's made out of a ring? Drop me an eye. Forged by the Hulder brothers as a gift for Odin. How's it work? Every so often, the Drop Near drips out identical copies of itself. The Huldras presumably figured that if one golden ring was a good gift, an infinite number of them would earn them a permanent place in Odin's heart. But it didn't. Not even a little. 